What's up everybody, James Rees here, and today we're talking about pedestal footwear and their minimal collection. So I'm pretty excited about sharing this video today. This is a long time in the making. I'm sorry to Brendan and Mike from Pedestal Footwear. It's taken me so long to do this. I think about four or five years to be precise when he first founded the company, but I finally got around to doing it. And honestly, these socks, I'd go with me everywhere. These are six months old, uh, quite literally. Look how well they are and they've kept with me the entire time. And 90% of the time, they're the only footwear that I take into the gym. Now, full disclosure before I go on, I haven't been paid to say this or talk about this. They have sent me the socks, in fact, three pairs of socks, the original socks, back in the day when I first had them, uh, the orange ones here, which are the ones like my go-to ones, and funnily enough, which is quite entertaining, I forgot I had these black ones when I was rooting around uh, for my old pair then, so they've sent me these socks for free. However, I'm not being paid to share my thoughts or talk about it here on camera. Now, for those who've trained with me over the years, you know that I like to make you go barefoot wherever possible when training in the gym. The reason for this is because I want to see what's happening with your feet, what's happening with your toes, and the structure and the quality of your feet per se, because it gives me a gateway into the rest of your body and tells me a lot about you without you even realizing it. As great as it is to get people to train barefoot, some people just don't want to do it. Call it the hygienic aspect of being in the gym, not wanting to share their toes, in the case they're web maybe, or for whatever reason it is there. People just don't like doing it. As great as it is for their health and for my personal benefit to look at them, not for freak reasons, but for genuine, genuine health reasons, they just don't want to do it. So what's the next best step? Well, a lot of people have chosen to wear Vivo barefoot shoes over the years, which are a great option. However, when pedestal footwear came in into my life. I think they solved that problem. There's like a good middle ground area here to get them barefoot, being back connected to the ground, and also solving the grip issue that sometimes the people have at the bottom of their socks and slipping everywhere. So this is why I love the footwear and the pedestal footwear, the minimalist collection in particular, so much. Now, when I got sent the initial, the original um, pedestal footwear socks back in the day, I loved them. I absolutely loved them for training at home when I was with my kettlebells at home or being around the house, even wearing them with slippers per se. Uh, throughout the day, they're absolutely awesome. I wore them a few times in the gym, but I never continued to wear them consistently in the gym, partly because I wasn't a big fan of the high um, ankle type socks. I've always preferred minimalist socks, no matter what I've done, unless I'm hiking with shoot with trousers on or pants on over the top of them for you Americans, not my, not my trousers. Um, so I never really wore them consistently. I love wearing them, but I never wore them consistently. But that changed when they sent me the orange minimalist ones. Um, which I instantly took into my gym bag. Now they're great for carrying to the gym, particularly when I, my routine normally is training in the morning, taking my laptop with me, and going and cycling into the gym, working out and working from coffee shops. It reduced the weight of my bag instantly. The clutter that I had in my gym bag was instantly halved um, with the socks that came with it. So I was a big, big fan straight away. Anything that declutters my kit bag, I'm a massive fan of all the time. Now when it comes to the socks, I say that 90% of the time I wear them because 90% of the time I'm not doing plyometric work or jump work or things like that. So I do wear Vivos or trainers in the gym, uh, some minimalist type shoes in the gym when I'm doing the heavier plyometric type work. But for 90% of the work that I do from deadlifting to swinging kettlebells and squatting, these are the things I go to. It's the minimalist style of these pedestal footwear that I like to use and take with me. So why am I a big fan of barefoot training? Well, put it this way, most people's feet in the Western world are unhealthy, weak, and just in terrible, terrible shape. Think of all the bunions that you've seen on people's feet over the years, particularly with women with all the high heels. The issue is that the shoe industry has almost sold us a lie. Think of all the shoes that we wear that constrict our feet. Our feet should be widespread as to give us a solid base and a foundation for stability on the ground. However, most shoes today constrict them, so we end up having feet that look a little bit like this, end up being a bit more shoe-shaped than foot-like, and that's one of the big issues. Now, if you, if you constrict your shoes enough, it causes issues with the big toe, and the big toe is the gateway to health all the way up the chain. I can tell straight away by somebody's big toe if it's weak and immobile, if they've got good glutes, 
and also how the hip extension, if they have poor extension in the big toe, they're gonna have poor hip extension further up the chain, which potentially may cause knee issues. So the big toe is key for stability and everything else in the foot. Now furthermore, there's so much proprioception underfoot. They have all the nerve centers, it's like our hands. We feel with our feet, we can grip the ground. It makes us more aware of our space and time around us. It gives us more balance, better accuracy, and more coordination underfoot. The best way to describe it is think of all the people who go running and roll their ankle over time in their big clop hopper type shoes. It's also why I like to trail on a lot now in Vivo Barefoots because I feel the ground underneath me so much better so I can preempt where my foot's going to roll and have better control and feeling with the earth beneath me. Now let's talk about this in terms of strength training and using these socks of being barefoot in the gym. By being barefoot, you have more connection, more proprioception with the ground again. This is important because when you're pushing, and or say let's take deadlifting as an example, you wanna grip with the ground to help create more tension. You're almost talking your feet inwards to grip with your toes like this and pushing your big toe into the ground. Now if you have your big Nike Air Jordans or something like that, you ain't gonna be able to do this. You can't feel the ground, you can't grip the the ground with your toes and you definitely want to push your big toe into it. It's a super super secret tip for you. If you want to instantly get stronger, grip the ground more with your toes, rotate in like a corkscrew and push down with your big toe. And that's really, really important. Why is that important? Well, you're going to be safer, you're going to be more stable with better proprioception, which allows you to lift heavier weights and get stronger in the long haul. So let's talk about the socks themselves. I'm going to start with the cons of the socks. There aren't many of them, but there are two cons that I've found wearing them over the last six months. Number one is you get lots of funny looks. People will look at you going, why the hell are you wearing socks around the gym? So if you're not comfortable with those looks and can deal with that, then they may not be the best thing for you. Just bear that in mind. Now on the flip side of that, it does spark up a lot of conversation uh, around them and people like to talk to you about them and will ask you why you're wearing them. So if you have to talk about things, that's absolutely wonderful. It's great for business almost because some people come and ask me why you're wearing them and it leads on to other conversations. But on the flip side, if you don't want the attention, then well, that is one issue. It does bring up a lot of attention and a lot of funny looks from people who are wearing their big clop hopper type shoes. And the second thing I found is being a guy, when you want to go to the bathroom, it's a bit of an issue, okay? Because you don't really want to go to the bathroom around the urinals anytime soon when you're wearing the socks because guess what? They're going to get wet because not every guy has perfect aims. So that's the only two cons that I found. So if you need to go to the bathroom anytime, you have to put on your shoes pretty quickly to go and change it or just get wet feet and make sure you wash them later down the line. But those are the only two cons I found so far. So let's talk about what I love about them the most. Well, first of all, the simplest and easy way is that is how much space it takes up in your gym bag. It's super light, super light. You can chuck them around just like a normal pair of socks and it takes up less space in your bag, which is wonderful for you carrying uh, your kit on your back or going into work or commuting every single day. So that's the first thing. The second thing is they don't smell. Okay, so these are worn today quite literally at the gym where I was filming in, in them earlier on. Got some funny looks by the way. I think I was mostly from the camera though as opposed to the actual socks. But they don't smell. Like I, I train them four or five days a week and I, at the end of the week I chuck them in the wash, they wash them and this is six months worth of work. Let me just open them up again for you. This is six months worth of washing work. I train five, six times a week in the gym and they've held on so long. So they're super, so super robust. They've got silver antimicrobial, anti I think that's how you say it, antimicrobial um, lining. So it stops, it helps with moisture and it helps keep the smell and the odor down so they don't stink in your bag as opposed to some shoes that over time can build up. It's, it's eat harder to wash them. Now, if you look closely at the socks themselves on here, you can see the actual grips of the base of them reinforced at the toe and the heel areas. Now, I absolutely love these. There's absolutely no way you're slipping anywhere on the gym. Now, I performed like a grip and rip test on the deadlifting platform. You can see how hard I'm trying to make my foot slide back and forth. You can skid a little bit in my Vivos back and forth, but not so much in the socks themselves. So the grip themselves, you ain't moving. So I love them for deadlifting on the platform, uh, swinging kettlebells, squatting, moving around. They're great for also uh, prowler work and pushing the sled. Um, as you can see on the video, like I'm pushing along quite slowly. It's quite lightweight, 
But the idea is I'm just slowly trying to move it so you can see how I'm using it from there. So also it's also great for those sorts of exercises too. You ain't moving any time soon. Now, but one thing I love the most about them in any exercises is when I'm performing like bear crawls and military crawls on the floor. My toes ain't going, I'm able to flex my toes more. Um, I'm able to move them and bend them and actually move in the crawl position without slipping any way, shape or form. So they're really, really good for performing all the common movements in the gym. Now, when it comes to the rower, I wear them a lot on the rower too. Now, if you wear them with the straps on, uh, it's great, you have no issue. However, because it's so light and they're so thin, when you wear them and do it with your straps off, and I'll say that video for another reason why I do straps off when I'm rowing, it, you do feel the pinch a little bit on the actual rowing machine from the strap itself. But other than that, it's, it's minimalist, it's, it's minute issue when it comes to that. So from all the things that I do, from uh, pushing the sled, deadlifting, swinging kettlebells, um, on the rower, all these things, they're wonderful and they're absolutely unique. Now the one thing to mention is if you are doing a lot of plyometric work, I wouldn't necessarily advise you to wear them whilst doing so. The reason is, again, because most people's feet are not strong enough, they're pretty weak, and you won't be able to handle the stress or the extra stress it places on the feet, the bones, the tendons, the ligaments, and everything else down on the actual foot. Now, I wear barefoot shoes every day. In fact, I only wear non-Vivo barefoot shoes outside when I'm doing runs on tarmac or concrete, or if I'm dressing up and wearing a suit from some of my dress shoes. And the other 99% of the time, I've been wearing Vivos and have them for the last five years, so my feet are pretty strong underfoot, so I can go trail running and barefoot running in the trails too. Most people don't have that experience, so I advise you not to do plyometric work because your feet will be able to handle it. So if you are gonna do that work, take shoes in for that day, but for the rest of the time for doing regular gym work, absolutely, these things are wonderful. You need to have them and include them in your life. So the question is, would I recommend these socks for everyday people over 30? And the answer is yes, absolutely, 100% yes. They get a full five-star review from me for so many different reasons, mostly as well because of price point. You're talking $30, just 30 bucks for a pair of these socks that have lasted me nearly every day for six months, still in great shape. And almost, look, you look at this now, they compare to the pair that is a brand new, I've never worn these pair because I forgot they existed, okay? So these ones here are the comparison, six months near daily use, and then you have the original ones here which are brand new and brand spanking new. So they wear really well. If you compare them to the old first generation pedestal footwear, they're still going strong now, so they do last you. So highly, highly recommend them for price point, for um, longevity, they last you really well. They're really robust, they don't stink. Not much anyway at the moment. Um, they don't smell at all. But the key thing is now, for the health of your feet, for $30, it's a wonderful investment to get your feet spread out, get your toes moving, get grip, gripping the ground when you're doing strength work, getting you stronger and being healthier in the long run. And that's what we're all about. So I can't recommend them enough. If it improves your health, it's great and useful for your gym bag and your everyday wear at the gym, but I'm all for it. So it gets a full five out of five stars from me. So there you have it, that's my review of the Pedestal Footwear Minimalist Socks. Um, go and check them out. Tell me what you think down below. Maybe you're using them already, maybe you've worn them. Let me know in the comments below what you think, or if you have any questions that myself, or even the guys at Pedestal Footwear can answer in the meantime. Anyway, remember to like this video, subscribe, press the bell notification, and I'll see you next time.